Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So, um, welcome back to another video where I'm just commentating with my gameplay. So, there's no game audio for this one because for some reason it was just hissing and it's really annoying. Now that sound you heard there was the game audio, but dropped down like made super quiet. So that would have been like constant ear rape the whole time. Like, you can't even make anything out. But anyway, this session was kind of weird because people had like high KDs, but they didn't seem to be very good. So I scroll down to it's Huey. He's got a zero KD. That's usually a sign of a modded account. And try hard to have zero KDs, like four zero. Not sure why, but um, yeah, keep an eye on him. So I'm checking the map to see where that is, who we guy is, because it looks like he'll probably be the, the biggest tryout in the session, if you know what I mean. But, um, he's, uh, he's all the way at the docks. Check to see if no one's in the facility, because I don't particularly want to get cannoned. But I decided I'd fly over. You can also see in the kill feed that he's killing other players. So, it seems like a hostile guy. And if you read the chat on the left, you can see... <laughs> I don't know, this guy seems to be angry about something, so... Maybe it's who he could be a griefer, could be annoying, I'm not sure. But uh, let's find out. If you actually take a look on the minimap, and it's hard to see. Um, the guy actually disappeared from those ox area, so I was just trying to find where he is. It turns out... Give it time. He job teleported to his uh, hangar. And you can see that job that's in yellow there. That's the job that he used to teleport with. So yeah, this guy knows about Sunshine tactics. So I have a feeling maybe maybe this is gonna be an interesting fight. So I'll get over to the maze bank roof. I'm just shooting out the lights because they're incredibly annoying. But um You can see him flying over in a jet. I don't think he suspects me as like like a hostile player or anything, so maybe why he doesn't spray me with the cannon. So I'm using BST here because it actually it's actually really useful to take down jets. Especially if you've got laggy internet. It takes like three or four shots to take them out. But as you can see he's already smoking. So just keep on shooting him. And then after a while he eventually blows up. And then the score says one out. So I'm just thinking, hmm, maybe he's going to get another jet, try and come after me again. So I'll keep an eye on the minimap. And you can actually see... little pause thing, so that means he's trying to teleport closer. And eventually, yeah, you can see me preparing for it. It's going to spawn in the maze bank. Now this is a pretty easy kill because I already knew what it's going to do. And he probably thought I was a noob or something. But anyway, the score's now 2-0. I just watch what he does. You see in the pause, no, see in the mini map, he's in the street. If you pay close enough attention, you'll just seen that he teleported away somewhere. Or he disappeared. So I'm just waiting there patiently. But he seems to not make any, like, any moves, so I just go into my office to try and see where he's on the TV. But before I even before I even get to the TV, you can see that he's in his facility. So maybe he's trying to get a cheap water cannon on me because you know, that's what that's what skilled players do. So I try and bait him out with so the message saying, Why are you hiding? I mean it's kind of ironic because so I'm also doing the same, but you can't know when he's hiding first, so we'll see what he says. Spoiler alert, it's nothing. So he's <coughs> uh He's still in the facility. 
and I think, well, there's no way I'm going to get him to get him to come out unless I go out of passive. So, no, if I go out of my office. So I go into passive, get out of my office, and go into this spot, which is, um, which you can't get up to Camden. So uh, here I am being a tryhard and passive popping. Look at me. And obviously I put a bounty on him just in case, you know, he wants to go passive and do some dirty stuff. As you can see, he's still hiding the facility because, you know, he's a good player. But, um, somewhere around this point, I can't tell because the sound, the game audio is broken. But he actually auto cannons me and obviously he misses because you can't auto cannon me while I'm in here. So I decided to call this guy out. Ask him if he's mad. <laughs> Because that usually baits a response. And eventually, seeing the kill feed, he makes a move. He registers as a CEO. Which means that he's probably going to go off radar and try something. So I just wait here. And sure enough, he goes off radar. Surprise, surprise. Wow. So I just go ghost. I don't move. I just sit here with ghost organisation. So here I am just straight vibing. Just running around. See him checking the map for a person with a bounty and well, you know it, he his off radar expires so he teleports back to his facility I mean, what a skillful player now another thing I found quite funny is if you go to players and you actually view, uh, view his profile you can see he's got a visible outfit I've not actually seen this since like 2016 so that's a that's a big triad right here so here I'm just checking the map, and you can see in the bottom right, you can just kind of see like a, a green CEO. Um, but yeah, I checked the map, and what? He's out in the open, no way. So, I'm thinking about what to do here, because he's probably expecting me to do something. So just wait. Check the map again. He's not there, so... He's not even on the map, so I'm not really sure what's what's happening. Turns out he activated Ghost. I'm not really sure why he's trying so hard, because I'm not even that hard to kill, but I just go passive because I can't be bothered to deal with his tactics. But I'm literally just sitting here, just waiting for him. And then all of a sudden I hear a jet sound, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe the... Maybe this guy's got a jet. So, uh, I run to where I think the sound's coming from. This is what you can hear, by the way. But he goes for a really smart eject play that doesn't even come close. But, uh, A for effort, you know? So it's been about three minutes, maybe four, since his since he activated Ghost Dog. So I'm just checking the map here to try and find out where he is. But, um, you can see, you can't see him at all on the map. So I decided to go into my office to try and see where he is using the TV. But something people still don't know is you can turn off people spectating you in the pause menu. So I'm guessing that's why I couldn't spectate this guy. So yeah, if you look down the playlist, you can go to his name, you can see the little cross next to the I. You might want to pause it there. But that means that I can't spectate him. So the next best thing just go to my facility and just strike team so I can observe him because no matter well except if you're in passive then you can you can spectate them even if they've got um, if they've got it turned off so in case you didn't know this is what you do you go to this little room and you go to go to the name and pick a strike team now this is something that I found quite funny so as soon as I call strike team on him and I observe him I find out where he is. And when it loads, you see it just goes black. Now, if you wait a second, see they actually kicked me out and I can't observe him anymore. So he's on the map. You can see where he is. And he just teleports away. So, yeah, that's a pretty great tactic by this guy. Yeah, really smart. Let me check the map again. For some reason his job teleported there, just right outside, probably placing some sticky bombs or something. Or proximity mines. 
and then teleports away again. So, honestly, I don't really know why this guy's trying so hard for, for the score. See, so he's teleported away to the to the military base. Not sure why. Why there, of all places? He's just like constantly going around the map. This is where I decided to go to the Orbs Cannon because he's out in the open a little bit. Yeah, I think he keeps suicide loop in here. I can't remember, it's a few weeks ago. But he keeps dying in the kill feed, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Go down to his name. It says targets lost, relocating, so. Yeah, I, I missed the cannon, probably because he's suicided or teleported away. She says Lel in the feed. So I just say 2 0 because I know he's mad about the score. But you can see in the minimap he teleports to me. So that's probably what I did. That's why I can auto can him. So here, <clears throat> my thought process is I'm going to get out, bring an Avenger. So I'm just waiting to see what it does and then I'll probably buy an Avenger. But uh, you see, in the kill feed, he dies. And then he leaves. So yeah, you just watched 11 minutes and 20 seconds of just two kills. Maybe a bit of a long video. I just I just kind of wanted to wanted to show what happened because I thought I thought it's kind of interested. So if you find it interesting too, drop a like maybe. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.